related to Parkinson's disease. A new study by the National Institutes of Health found the implanted device regulated by the body's brain activity could provide continual and improved treatment for symptoms like involuntary movements. It is giving small amounts of current. We deliver it at 130 hertz, and it's on all the time. We can measure what's actually happening with the electrophysiology. Researchers found that this adaptive deep brain stimulation improved each participant's most bothersome symptom roughly 50% when compared to the more conventional deep brain stimulation. And here at home, the Group 143 Ministries wanted to build a church and campsite for its substance abuse recovery program in Grovetown, while neighbors on Rockford Drive are opposing it. Last night, 143 Ministries withdrew its rezoning application. That's according to a Facebook post from 143 founder Clifton Nobles. He says the group would take a step back for now and continue to help people in the community. Coming up, the start of a new chapter at Aquinas High School. We'll explain why next. Industry showers here possible over the next couple of days, but the main story this week is definitely the cool down. Lows waves in the mid to upper 60s and our highs will be in the mid to upper 80s. More details on the forecast coming up. Coming up, the start of a new chapter at Aquinas High School. We'll explain why next. Industry showers here possible over the next couple of days, but the main story this week is definitely the cool down. Lows waves in the mid to upper 60s and our highs will be mid to upper 80. More details on the forecast coming up. From the time I was a little girl, the only thing I ever dreamed about was forecasting the weather. This is just a trip to you I see if we can see every inch tree down and so do not drive. I mean, I remember watching weather forecasts on TV while my friends were watching cartoons. I guess I was a bit of a nerd. When I grow up, my ambition is to become a successful meteorologist. So for me, being chief meteorologist here at News Channel 6, it's a dream come true. I was in a motorcycle accident and I broke my leg. They wouldn't even do surgery on me for two months until the swelling went down and started to pay bills. That's what I was worried about. So I just got on the phone and I called Austin Jackson. They were very good, professional. The settlement that I received was life-changing. All my bills are paid and I'm doing well. Get Austin Jackson, be a Vesta guy. Kamala Harris has been the
that's another type of insulation system that has something called solar radiation index. And what it does is it reflects certain wavelengths of the sun and, again, keeps the building more efficient. Not only is District 7 taking advantage of the weather, they are winning awards for their building. Spartanburg High became the ninth high school nationwide and the first in South Carolina. To earn level two global certification from the Green Building Initiative for resource efficiency and reduction of environmental impact. Having that type of efficiency, one, prevents you from having to update constantly or upgrade constantly because we know the, the equipment's going to last longer. New schools are being built every year and school districts construct buildings with weather safety and operation costs in mind. Spartanburg High shines an example of how sustainability and educational goals can work hand in hand. And that's not to say an older building anywhere that great learning and teaching doesn't go on, because it goes on if you have a good teacher. Uh, but we just know that the environment does have a positive impact on students. Some good information. Wow. Yeah. yeah, you know, we always say schools are a very safe place to be when there's bad weather like tornadoes. Yeah. It's really just the buses that are the issues. That's right. Getting yeah, to and from the school is dangerous, but when you're in the school, you're good to go. Good to know, definitely. And Spartanburg High also has a wetland area and a retention pond that captures rainwater. It is then used for campus irrigation. How cool is that? Yeah, really, really sustainable. Cool. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's great to see them doing all that. Yeah, really neat. All right, we'll be right back. Coleman Services cares about you. Join attorney M. Austin Jackson, the Augusta guy, for legal insights every Monday and Tuesday afternoon. Don't miss the Legal Minute, brought to you by M. Austin Jackson, attorney at law. That's our time for now. Coming up on News Channel 6 and 5, a live report on a new freestanding ER that's heading to Evans. We'll have more with Brad from you next. Weather headlines on WGBF News Channel 6. Brought to you by Hickson Roofing. If your roof needs fixing, call Mr. Hickson. People don't really realize how much of it. Your outdoor power equipment and grilling needs covered under one roof. Everybody has a Labor Day sale. So why is Weinberger any different? Because we have tons of quality Weinberger furniture at low, low prices. That's right. I bought a lot of extra inventory this summer, and it needs to go at any price. We have store-wide markdowns on our huge selection in all three locations. Get great quality, name brand furniture at huge discounts now through Labor Day. Get the best prices on Weinberger's furniture this Labor Day, in stock and ready for delivery. This is Greg Hodges from If you've been arrested for a DUI in Georgia, you may only have 30 days to protect your license or your privilege to drive you. Hi, I'm Tiffany Duckett of DUI.com. 